Okay, very important. Okay, I'm doing a side note. Bivouac as a lead to profit. And side note to what I'm where we're doing. Turn in our area, place where Bibble previously was able to, if you know, call it right, boom. We're talking about uh chaser he want to chase it right now so go short we take profit right here go short now what happens when we see okay boom we're not we don't get any alarms when he goes short up here right so we're like well, back up here what do we do when we see him place where he went long grab this and duplicate this Squinch, squinch. Now this here, right? And you're gonna say, I would think normally, I would think if I seen this, oh, we're going lower, but absolutely not. We got two legs down. One, then we hang right here. Two, those are called legs. Okay, we're gonna call. So what happens? These are places where Big Bull will go. There is where the market. I'm not gonna say. Or undo work for me. Un, that's where un, that's where undo will work for you. Right there. Normalized. Pop up and uh, there's a trade that was put on. I don't know how this even got back on here. Like, I don't know. Never seen this happen before. I'm a, I'm I gotta make sure I'm matching up. Okay, so this is pretty much the same as that, but I'm getting different numbers. Save that. All right. So. And what I got. Oh, I know what's going on. Oh, no, that's not it either. This is a four minute. You see that, guys? They got me. Four minutes. See that? Placed more trades, made less money. Made more money, placed less trades. So we like to see trades. I mean, that's just us for something that we probably be careful asking for. <laughs> be careful what you ask for. All right? 16 trades is pretty good, though. 18 trades, I would like to see that. 
four minute. I don't know how I got to four minute, but there we go on a four minute. Look, there's a big old loss there. That might have been a thousand dollar loss. All right, so I'm going to six minutes. Let's go to three minutes. Just out of two minutes. Out of curiosity, five minutes. Devil himself. I drew some stuff down here now. Trust me, I know you guys have noticed Trading View has a little bu bugs here and there. They have they have alert bugs that you gotta counter them. I noticed <laughs> post alerts and stuff. It's like if the alert doesn't send trade to your exchange, then it wasn't a true alert. Okay. working we're gonna start balance here you know I've been I've been looking at the same balance right in this this market right here I've been letting big voices run just trying to see what is going on and I can tell you I saw this come right here happened back back here Knew it was gonna happen again actually and I was like this is where this is this is the uh, buy zone right here we're entering the buy zone we got entered below the buy zone got to think about this we can't say we're gonna just run my strategy because I'm gonna be updating the strategy soon based on all the stuff I'm talking about here and today and tomorrow and the next day these are evolutionary steps <laughs> that we'll be getting upgrading we'll be upgrading these into the to the module call it an engine I don't know what the you know there's all you can call anything anything you want but I would say when you put something a strategy together it's and code it it's not the same as actually performing it as it is coding it you gotta there's 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 little triggers that I have to figure out if I can even code first. So if I can't code the trigger, say recognize a like say if I if I had a pattern recognition it does not exist. Okay, so I can like, oh every time you see a cup and handle, buy and sell at this time and that time. You know, it, that doesn't exist. I would have to actually code Oh, if you see anything that's in this range, you know, I would have to actually try to figure out how to do the patterns. There are modules out there that do that. I can do that really well. And so that's why I've been working real hard on Python. I've transported over there. But I don't just want a bot that you can't visually, and visually. So yeah, trade. this is a real easy way to get things done. But I think I'm doing a pretty good job without pattern recognition even with pattern recognition those things aren't reliable you know they're as, as reliable as any other indicator you know sometimes they're, they're work and you'll make money and other times you know you you know you'll lose money and then depending on how you, your outlook is you're gonna say well that doesn't work I want to win every single last trade and then you gotta ask yourself are you being, being realistic now you don't want to lose any money at all right can we do that I think we can do that I think we can make money and not and when we lose lose small amounts of money 
and when we make money, make large amounts of money. I think that's possible. I've, I've done it actually. I'm gonna just bring that to the live stream now. We're not just gonna let the bot run. What happens when the bot runs? Might get a leverage position on like, say if I'm work manually trading like I did last time when I brought the account up to 0.27, I brought the account up all the way up in a matter of like a couple of days. And then one trade, all out. Because you were over leveraged. In every new trade, the leverage is always the same. You, you know, you take your available balance and you're going to multiply that by 100 if you're doing 100 times leverage. Like, you know, I was, you know, no, I wasn't doing 100 times, but I was doing something close to it, like what, 60, 70 times leverage? It's the same thing as 100 times leverage. If you get liquidated, you're getting bankrupt. That account's going down. <laughs> but what we do is we take, again, we take what I put in there the first time, 60. That big bull run. Now we can our profit. I wasn't here. I haven't been manually doing anything. Now, I said I'm going to buckle myself into my office chair for the next week, two weeks, three weeks, however long it takes to, to become on screen, on 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 film, on YouTube, on on video, right? <laughs> Making these moves along with Bitbull and psychological tendencies we have. Ruin ourselves or uh, not ruin ourselves. Move ourselves, okay? that already back up and back here this box if it was green you would know this is a buy zone right let's do that Buy block, a new buy block. I like this color right here. So let's uh, buy block, capital B, I simply. I mean, this is actually psychologically, when you look at this, this is actually. A lot of people are used to short-term short thinking, right? You're thinking right here. I can capture all these moves right here. And but you first you got to learn how to capture these big moves that are doing the same damn thing up here. You know what I mean? Start up there first. That way you can understand what's happening down here too, because it's, it's happening like at the same. It's doing the same thing down here at this price as it is up here at this price. But I guarantee you, people up here, they're putting more money down. Here. They're putting more most of their most of their money right here. Buy here and buy here and buy here and buy here and buy here. And then it moves price up. And then all of a sudden, what you see them do is they'll sell everything I want. You know what I'm saying? Get out every position they put down here, they'll get out of them somewhere up here and up here again. Boom. Because this is the same area, right? But this is area right here. You can get it down here. But what happens when we start moving out of this zone? That's. You know, so we got to learn. We're learning right now. It's not like I know everything. Like, I know. This is dynamic trading going on here. Or development. All right. Bot development. And human trading development. It's all. We're, we're, we're basically going to be. So I've done this. I've been doing this a long time. And uh, these are like just the same methods I've been using. Find a way to, to analyze. Find a way to look at the market. Find a way to put that in a bot. Overcomplicated. I'll take it a step at a time, small steps every day. In of a month or two, you're gonna see 
spot come out of this. Probably Trump, the last one. Now we're going to just focus on it has to be read, how well we can read it, and how come I was successful in account using the strategies I'm showing you right now. I'm not telling you guys no bullshit. I'm about to show you this shit. I gotta see this. Excuse my language because kids might be listening, but. Start cussing. Have it by zone. Extend this out. Basically, until we figure out how come this is now void, right now this is still in, in play. It's because they're. Now, once they start buying up here, and they start buying up here and buying up here, they don't have to start really buying up, up in this zone up here. If they do that, then we got to look at it like that's new. That's a buy zone now. Right. Now, here, if they start selling down here and selling below this, like below 5,900, if they start selling right there where you want them to, where you normally expect them to buy, you got to get out your trade, especially when it's over leveraged because an over leveraged loss you know leverage loss you know we're talking about like over leverage i'm going to say that over leverage losses are what's killing me right on screen on my bot account which i, I, I kind of like i don't look at it like i want i'm trying to i'm trying to do money so that was my blunder I think that's a blunder on my part because people's perspective on the bot, they don't, they can't derive value out of it if they see me losing. But what they did see is me winning and then losing. So it's like, how, how come you guys, real, uh, 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 to an investor, that's like, oh, paid the money. He just, his stupid ass just didn't take it off the table when he was supposed to. He got over leveraged and a loss. That was easy to avoid. A lot of that is easy to avoid. That's how you should look at it. That's really what's happening. So now we're going to show you why it's easy to avoid right now. That's the objective, okay? Here on out of this uh, live stream, it's not to test bots. Now it's to actually employ the bot and take money out of the market actively. What I would say mixed. You'll be able to leave this computer. I'll still be able to, you know, set, take profit without actually changing strategy settings, okay? And the stop and stop. And actually, do this. Else. Now I'm just talking, talking is cheap. Telling you a preview of everything. How do you, let's talk about that first because how do you set it, manually set it so it could have taken profit right here? Everyone who's been watching, who is doing, who is actually doing it, who is doing it and taking the money off, <coughs> right? Taking the money off the table, like right now, still in profit. Right? The last position, I put a cross on it. Came back, retested it up here, came right back down here, right? Honestly, can you tell me? Fifty, three hundred. Oh Lord, saw that. There's three hundred. Okay. More coffee. All right. So, right here. So, take that and make it like you know. Uh, hold it down. Cell zones. I call them cell blocks, all right? I'm trying to trade with the market and try to know where they're 
Hell in there, right? Big Bull seems to know. Boom, right there. I know why Big Bull seems to know. Already actually truly changing me. Gas pedal, don't worry about all that. Here's a, uh, all this sail block. Cell block. Cell block. Prison, anybody? So long in the cell block, all right? You'll be, you'll be stuck. <laughs> if you do, you better get out there on the next retest. How do you know the retest? It's going to retest at least one time. Look for that one retest. But if you're sitting here looking for a retest and it never retests, it comes down here. You're gonna get scared, so I should have just got out up there because I missed that one. Okay, and somehow you didn't think to take it off right here. And you got down here, and you're gonna take it off down there when you could have waited. Yeah, it's like you give it, it, it's, it's you gotta remember this shit. That's all right. So let's get into and I'm actually doing a side note. So great. Here's our, here's our, uh, position. come back down here. It should be. It doesn't take them. Sometimes I might press the wrong thing. Uh, so, oh, excuse me. Fuck. That's weird. Weirdness, and then I'm going to take How slow that is. I'm using this. Um, at the previous places where people were buying your sale right here see how many times you were lost you, you keep losing sell right here you lose you lose you lose every time you sell up here you win way more times than, and down here you, you just buy down here you I mean doesn't mean if you buy right here doesn't mean it wasn't coming down but look it went up, it went up into the sell zone so this is a buy zone you think down here is a buy zone if you ask anybody Who's looking at this chart right now that I'm drawing, right? Say, no, I don't know. Then you can't trade, man. Get the hell out of here. Close the damn YouTube down. Don't even watch any YouTube, actually, man. Learn. This is Trader's Paradise right now, what we're looking at. Just people would tell you, you know, like, damn. Hidden divergence. Boom! That was the one. That was one, and boom, boom. That was another one. And boom. we can be taking this part right here. So let's look at this right now. We are in a profit right now. Bit bull position that bit bull put on. Okay, in a Right zone. Now, what if Big Bull would have put a buy on right here? We we know this is a sell zone. Take it off. Yeah. They start buying though. Put it back on. Or you know, if you just want to stand aside, stand aside. 
but we're active traders so i'm going to tell you keep the position on the right position on in the direction you want to flip a direction around i'm not sure what direction that the, the price is that we're in these 500 hundred dollar ranges typical price range of bit bull bit bull will you know, do a 500 dollar range quick all right that's kind of the range so if you don't know where the buy rent inside of a buy inside of a range like a 500 dollar range like right here from six thousand and six thousand if you don't know where the buy zone is at and you don't know where the sell zones are at don't enter a position until you zones are okay find these zones by typically looking at where bitbull made money before and where they are the ones here I didn't put bull by here do some of the things I'm I am actually driving I'm watching big bulls sell right here big bull you missed the sell right here and you missed the buy right here I so we did me and me and you guys we missed that right there boom 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 we could have took profit right there first so came back down here now that's how you extract the money all right so we're moving forward I hope everybody got that because I have people that still are like you know rolling around like this I have other people like yeah I'm making boggles my mind I'm like you're losing money you're the one controlling your your, your and all of this we are hit this on here you don't and you, and you let it do things to you that you don't want it to do then let's talk about that right now that's why i'm making this this is specific think about using Gonna grab trend lines. Go horizontal line, or we can. What I want to, I want to start doing. I'm trying to. What I want to see is. What I do know is I can make an alert on it that all right price crosses it all right because it's my years once price crosses it Now, color. Yeah. So. Now, it's red, it's on. It's off. It looks Pause it. All right, cool. That's how we know. Now, what I'm going to do is I never thought about this before. Can I move this around? If I can move this one around and it stay, stay as an alert, I'll be happy. Oh, it's an alert. Uh-oh. It's still selling. Oh, so no matter where I put this, it's going to sell. All right, great. That's the functionality I was hoping is this. So now I don't have to draw those 
far as I don't mind. Sometimes I might, I can move it like this and probably never even touch this thing. Don't worry about it if it's on or not. It can stay on. See what I mean? So it's easy to move these things out of the way if you just want to. Instead of having to go in here, get that, then go over here, and, and turn it off like this, you know. You know, and then easy to turn them back on. It's very easy to turn these back on. Move it. That's it. Great. I never looked at this ever, man. God. All right. That's what taking a break does, guys. That's why I, I had to take a break. Because when you when you take a break and you come back refreshed without, you know, you start to see things. Brain was. That back and see how it's kind of like third eyes view of things. Monthly time frame, <laughs> the yearly time frame. Like where have we, where since where have we come? Oh, if you see that, then you know we're bullish. But right now everyone's bearish. Zoomed in on price falling down. Started at twenty cent. Ended up twenty thousand. Two is back here. Let's try to let's try to simulate what happened yesterday. I mean, where were we yesterday, right? We were like this. Yeah, okay, it's all right. Oh yeah, damn, it made it okay, all right. So what should we do? What is it? Bit bull. It was just wait for Bit Bull to 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 close this short and take profit. That's what I would do, right? Let's go to. So I'm going to sleep. I went to sleep. So what we could have did was this. What we could have done is this, right? I'm going with this. Same on you, same on you. Here's the developing candle still down there. Here, look at that. It's making it stretch, guys, when it's out the screen. It's crazy. <laughs> That shit fucking bizarre, man. God damn. Oh wow. Look, look, look at it. Oh yeah. Know you were going to sleep, right? And you know this is a buy zone. But did we did, did we draw it last night? No, I don't think I extended it. Yeah, I, I squared everything away. I'm I'm free now. It takes a long time to get you. You know when you when you're working on something like this. This thing. Cross below it. Now it's like. stop what we're going to call we're going to use our stops we're going to use our stop losses to actually stop losing our gains right stop gain loss <laughs> things get complicated right? we're locked in these gains Would have been would we have been able to enter back in a position so we could have locked it in today we start moving back up I, I think I wake up and I see this thing I wake up this morning I could have kept this just like this I crosses you that press control grab it and move what you do one has an alarm for duplicated copy doesn't it 
his auto reposition. create this one and um no cell line all right save as cell There's a couple of ways we can do this. You want to sell right here? Open a new sell. You know, you got to do it twice. That's why you see plus two right here. Negative two shorts. Plus two shorts, whatever. Plus two bars. Negative two bars because you see it closing. Long right here, you say go long right here, and it comes up here, and you go short. One long. In order to take profit, you got to go short. So you go one short. Then to enter another short position, because now you don't have a position, you got to go short again. So to buy one, then it'll first the position, you got to say short twice, once. So, I know that sounds cool. Moses. Actually, this that yeah that will close anything. Like close a short. Adding to your short, it close it and then you do pyramiding this way. You got to be. I'm doing right now. Is Pyramid. You want to add. Pyramiding is defined as adding, and I'm gonna get into this too. Second, I'm gonna add some stuff, some written documentation. Pyramiding, which is basically, I know it's no, a lot of people don't know about it. Search on it. It's something that you do with leverage, so it's something for leverage. So, it is right now when you. direction we're in smaller add on smaller you tack on smaller larger by your unrealized gains unrealized gains that unrealized gain Because you start, I think if you if it goes against you, you start losing money, right? Well, we'll be exploring this in detail. But as far as allowing the bot to do it for us, I've taken that functionality out of the bot because you have a you have to deal with adding when you're adding on on leverage auto view to automate it. Auto view doesn't really know what. You, just you have to kind of know not too obvious obviously 
Average shit. Right here, right? This That's gonna be affecting your liquidation price. I, I only will let you add your leverage position. You guys can do whatever you want to do. There that process. Talk about this right here. I want to go over here and I'm going to go to customize and I'm going to go to margin. Click that box, go down, find it. Margin. says 20 26 percent margin used you know i'm trying to i'm trying to have a way to calculate that on this position of the margin unrealized pnl basically they gave us this eight That is right, right? I'm bad at math. I'm got, I got all my mind. So let's just. I don't want to say yeah because it looks like it's right. I could be. 53, 53, 8, 61. Bam. All right. That's why you got a margin balance of 62. Position margin. I only use 60. I want to do 100% margin. Guess what? I'll lose. All of it because only goes like what? How many dollar against me? Good max is not going to hold my position in a negative. That's why you get liquidated. You have a negative balance, you get liquidated. You don't have enough money in your account to cover a loss, and BitMax won't. won't. Use a negative account and definitely basically you can't it's like I'm not gonna it's hard to explain but if, it, if the account is under zero or if it is zero right they take the position off that way it don't lose money at an exchange All right because if they take that position that you put on that they let you put on they take it off okay in the negative under zero basically meaning losing more money than you actually had in your account 
Guess what? Big Macs wouldn't probably be. But it's not the liquidation. You have to look at it as a losing trade and you 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 already went below your available. It already it, it's already taken all the money that you got in your account balance. Leverage, you're in the leverage loss. So it's it's leveraging losses on your account. Let's resume. I should tie that resume to the mute button. <laughs> tie it into the mute button. So here we go. We just went in here and decided to sync all our charts up, all our drawings up. So we went in here. Setting our drawings like I want to see these on different time or charts. In order to do that, we got our crosshairs hooked up, syncing on all charts. So what does that look like? Crosshairs synced up. Five minute, five minute candles. Opened it right there, boom. <laughs> boom. Boom. Right here, we opened right there, boom. It was like red. We probably opened on right after a red candle. You know that? Look. We probably opened right after a red candle. Look, it sure did. Boom. Isn't that interesting? Right after rejection candle. Red rejection candle. These are red. This is a red rejection candle. Whoop. Stays. Three hour camera right here. We're looking at three hours worth of action right now. Isn't that good timing? Three hours, take the money. Boom. Why do you guys think I put these three hour cameras? I'll tell you why. Taking our money out, putting a new position on. All right. I'm not taking losses. We're not going to take losses. Lose tiny losses. We're going to take tiny losses. When we take a loss, we're going to take a tiny loss. Come back down here and come right back up. How many times? Damn. Do it again? I don't know. I'm not going to count on it to do it again. One thing I can tell you, your risk will be low though. If it does come back down here again, right? You buy right here, right? Again. What happens when? You gotta get out, that's a tiny loss. Go short. Go short right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funny part. Would I go short right here? If if this fell like down there, would I go short? Either you can go short right here. Only to go long down here. Yes, I would go short here. But what if it's go sh only go only go long here? Like all of the people that were buying here. Can 
identify that, don't get in the position below you. Part of the equation. Stop making this. Those on tunt will do a fry zone. And fry zone will turn into a. When the market turns, we have to we have to identify. Those are some of the biggest moves. I think Bitbull is good at. at There's a lot of stuff. Right now, over right here. That will profit in, you see what I mean? L line. Why would you use a cell line? Close the trade out, taking your profit, and then your position. Close any open position. Our open position happens to be a short. So close that, even if this. matter if it's a long or short then it'll open another short position great now we got that out the way same thing open How do we want to know if your charts are set up like to show Or uh, what you call it? Well, all these drawings get figure out how they see.
able to still be short right here. I don't think that's a good idea. Let's go ahead and use our trail liner. Basically, lock in some profit. I will do is instead of that, this off the table. I was to redeploy this and I'll grab that syntax out of it. Here from near from near from boom. Oh, so that's ready. Track our profit without us being here. If we are working at your job or just doing something. A lot of traders do this. I don't know. It's starting to look like, you know, first head and shoulders, five minute. <laughs> this, you know, break status is. is I'm loving it, guys. I'm loving it. All right. How you guys doing? Crypto Don Juan, what what do you what do you my thing isn't working right here? Let me see something. My uh I wanna get my uh my chat box working, my top chat box. What do you think about Digitex futures coming out with zero fees better than Bitmax? <laughs> zero fees, huh? <laughs> uh I don't believe that there should be zero. There, I don't think there can. There can. I don't think that there's going to be. I mean, I don't know how to say. In the past, there were zero fee trading, and zero fee trading me, makes bots trade no matter what. Trade, trade, and it's not going to stop them. From real inefficient way. Orders and stuff like this. When you start doing trades, because you're not taxing anybody for putting a trade on that just anybody can go put a trade on cost them anything so it just it destroys the market that's why bitmex is really lit the most market because they actually they take fees but they don't they don't take they don't pay themselves those fees those trading fees go to the people that make the markets liquid market makers Bitmex is in a market. They're not. They they have they have they they actually have their market making bus. So they draw their own fees, but they also let you take your market making, put them on their exchange. Liquidity, liquidity. Say that shit, and people know what to. Dripping everywhere. Back, man, I don't know. <laughs> People are, you know, buy and sell. It's slippery. Basically, I could press market and get in at that price anytime I feel like it's not going. But if the market, you know, one thing I'm going to tell you, never, never, never make my mistake. I made a mistake. Now, I'm trading offline. I'm, you guys don't see this part. I record my, my own sessions, my private sessions. So. I'm going to replay this for you. Like, but I don't want to. It's, Horrible, horrible. I was trading with about sixty-eight thousand dollar position. 
I'm manually trading. This is just spiking up, spiking down at the trade while it's doing that, just to see if I can get it at the top and at the bottom. So what happens is you click that, no matter what's going on, on the line, where in that range. I, I don't. I think that's how Bitmax manipulates you. Seek where they can get away with it was when price isn't really known at that point because everybody's buying, selling, selling, buying, selling, all market ordering. And then what Bitmax will do is they'll just start routing your order for you because you press market, they can fill it at the top of that if you buy it. If you market buy, oh, I'm gonna put them at the top of that candle. Boom. All right. So now you try to sell it and get out because you didn't you didn't like where they placed you. And then boom, you get out, you sell it. Sell it at the bottom of the candle. Boom, they put you there automatically. So you, I've seen that happen time and time again. So when the market's whips, marketing, don't do any kind of market ordering and buying. You gotta switch your game. Switch over the limit. Really fast. Let me see if I can get my top, my little top chat, my little YouTube chat going. That viewer authorized authorize it then then select an event oh okay that's why there we go I'm gonna look Please, baby, baby, please. Not bad. What do you think about Digitex futures coming out? Real fees. I think they're going to have lo no liquidity, zero liquidity, because they're not incentivizing anybody to stay on the books over there. So they're going to they're, they're going to be slow to growth. There's already exchanges like Coben Hood that have zero fees. So, do a limit order and you'll, you'll, they'll pay you the fees on BitMEX. A lot of people are knocking BitMEX. Like, I don't, I, if everybody's trading over it, how are you going to knock BitMEX? Absolutely not worse. Absolutely not. Right now, I'm trying to. Uh,
party offline. Okay. As long as we got the time down there. out of it oh ah. Not bad. Patience is a commodity, everybody. That means it's worth something. But sometimes I believe you have to be impatient, and that's worth something. I'm looking at this rejection area, too. But I'm also looking at this accumulation area right here. That's accumulation. Meaning people are accumulating. All that coins at that price. Leverage. <laughs> We're all going to get liquidated. <laughs> Lamb. Bitcoin down if that happens. They're not buying on leverage, which I don't, I'm not sure what that is. Let me pull this stuff back into. $5,000 in there. This was a $5,000. Start looking at these as five. That's a thousand. Zero, zero, one is a thousand dollars. That way we can start. Should take profit and we shouldn't because it's all going to equate 100 to 
$100,000 in or $50 in. So you wouldn't take this profit at, you know, it's only $10, so I'm going to keep it on because there's nothing. But really, this same move, if you would have used $5,000, same move right here would have netted you a $1,000 profit at the current moment right here. And that's how come a lot of people realizing like you're trading with such a small amount of money, you just any pinching yourself. So that's why I have a large account and I have small accounts that I trade with. All right, I'm gonna take a small account and we're gonna bring it up. Like I always bring a small account up. I'll show you how to do this. Else. This is what I do, and I'm working in some. Same thinking though, all right. What we're gonna see thousand dollars, all right. If this was a thousand dollars, you would have took it off. Now that it's only ten, you don't care about it. You can keep it on until it goes out of profit, or whatever, right? Technology is that are using. Imagine that these people. Causing the market to go, or are using thousand dollar position, are going to take this off. Right? Five thousand dollars. We were dollars right now. So yeah. I take it off right now. I got this up right here. I got my my trim line. Take it off and go long. I'll be down if we come up in there, only to go down even further because I'm going to take another. And you, because wifey just showed up. Can I say something? Without saying something. Call me right now. Call me right now.
Okay, okay, I'm sorry about that. Uh, get into some more of this stuff here. I'm just checking out my phone. Put up my Google Voice. Here we go, here we go. So the price is still going down, huh? Make up your mind. Make up your direction. I want to go long anyway. Somewhere down here. I don't like to get faked out by the market. That's what I'm going to Who's funding who? The shorts are funding every eight hours that shorts are going to pay long. There we go. I'm gonna look I'm looking at this date range feature. Check your mind. Five days. Days look on a three hour basis. Different. Auto. But it put it on five minutes. This is a five minute chart now. That's the problem. I was like that. That is crazy. Back to the three hours.
try to manually trade all this. I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the uh, local. Now what what I'm looking at here is like the margins keep the percentage of margin use is increasing the more in the money I, I become. I'm you know margin percentage. Buy here. They, they took the price down there and bought right here. Resuming the recording. All right. I split up. I'm gonna go grab an energy drink and. You can't buy this book anywhere. This one. This one. Try to use to help you tame the bear and ride the bull. Okay. Now, Amazon, this thing is nowhere to be found. Libraries is nowhere to be found. So I, I'll just take it that they're trying to. So what I'm doing here is um. Live by leverage, die by leverage. That's the living one. A famous quote by J Jesse Living. Successful traders. Story is told in, in a book called Reminiscent Stock Operator. And Eyes by them, okay. Taking some of these excerpts out of here. Look, this is the book. Patients, I, I be I've been doing some searching. Humble, look how it looks. What it means. Grab it, copy it, and then come over here, and paste it. There it is. Keeping its uh I 
back it up. Case without uh What? It it still did it. Alright. Oh I heard it. I heard it. Oh you look. You see that? It's green guys. I'm going long. Did I wanna go long right there? I don't really know. That looked like a place to go short. But you know what I say. All short zones right here. Good profit. All right. Long right here. Overall in the market, I believe this is an accumulation stage right here. You know, our accumulation. I drew this the other day. What is happening right here? They're selling right here or buying right here? I don't understand why they want to shake y'all down here. And to me, we should have bought down there. Remember, this is where I really should have put this damn line down here. So next time, we're going to learn from that. If I put this line down here, we'd have made Right? There. I know people are looking at me like, just put it down. What if it went all the way down there? That looks, it's just amazing. <clears throat> Let me unpause this thing. Jesus. It's hard to pause and unpause a deal. My recording is unpaused. Great. You guys get the price action now. Life. If, if it wasn't for Big Bull, we wouldn't even know this was a sell zone and a, and a buy zone right here. Another sell would come up to the sell zone again. Station stage. Station phase. Back to the accumulation phase. We gotta. We just gotta know. Down here is where people are buying. Price <coughs> goes all the way down there. They're going to start buying it. Nation phase. Let me figure There we have it. Guys, I want you guys to All right, so to me, I don't know what to think of this. How I'm through this is the more that it hits. Typically, the more that's a uh, feeling uh, or a place of. Respect.